Let's begin by defining network analysis. Network analysis is the process of listening to and analyzing network traffic. And although this may sound like a very simple process, it's not. The first thing you should realize is that network analysis is primarily a passive and non-intrusive process. The analyzer itself shouldn't be sending packets out onto the network. Now, since we're primarily working with Wireshark, let's talk a little bit about when Wireshark may transmit packets. Let's say we load Wireshark on this host right here. If we turn on network name resolution and tell Wireshark that it can use external name resolution, that would allow the Wireshark system to send out DNS reverse queries to try to resolve the names for the IP addresses that Wireshark sees. Now, although this is a feature in Wireshark, it's typically not one of the primary features that we would see someone using when they're doing network analysis. In addition, network analysis requires a strong understanding of the network data flows. You need to understand that if you were just to place a Wireshark system off of this switch, by default, you would not be able to see all the traffic to or from the host that's sitting next to you. And that's because of the nature of switched traffic. At the end of this particular course, we will go through looking at how data flows through a switch, a router, a firewall, and network address translation boxes. You also have to have a strong knowledge of TCP IP communications. You have to be able to understand that when a client sends out a SYN packet to make a connection to a target system, it includes options in that TCP packet. And based on the response that comes back, we can tell what features will be available for that connection. You need to understand not only TCP, but also IP, V4, and V6 if you are using V6. You also need to understand UDP. You need to understand ICMP, which is one of my favorite protocols. If you're using DHCP, which most people are, you need to understand how to analyze DHCP traffic. In addition, you should understand the basic protocol set. And these are the protocols used for applications such as HTTP and maybe the email traffic as well and how DNS works. You can't spot problems unless you understand how these things would work when everything is going right. Throughout this class, I'll be explaining the elements of network analysis, and then I'll be taking you out to Wireshark to provide you with some examples of network analysis in action. In the next section, we're going to begin by examining the four basic network analysis tasks. We'll start by focusing on some key troubleshooting tasks. Then we'll go into security tasks, optimization tasks, and then we'll also do some application analysis tasks.